Good afternoon. Good, good afternoon and welcome. We're, we're very pleased to have you all here. I'm uh, John Worthen, president of Ball State University. 
and I'm pleased to and honored to be hosting this very special occasion on behalf of the Board of Trustees of Ball State and our entire university. We're here to honor John and Janice Fisher by officially naming the Institute for Wellness the John and Janice Fisher Institute for Wellness and by establishing a chair in exercise science, all of this in recognition of their generous contribution to the Wings for the Future campaign and for their continued interest and support of Ball State University through the years. Janice Fisher was reared in Muncie and returned with her husband John in 1941. She was quite active in community and cultural affairs while Mr. Fisher worked his way through all facets of the ball glass manufacturing business. John was instrumental in leading Ball Corporation from a privately owned company manufacturing glass jars to a publicly held Fortune 500 corporation trading on the New York Stock Exchange and producing such diverse product, products as packaging for many different consumer items, penny blanks for the United States Mint, and telescope parts for NASA. The Fishers are the parents of seven children, and I would like to acknowledge two of those children who are here today, uh, Judith Fisher Ottinger. Uh, Judith, rise and let us welcome you. And a son, Gerald M. Fisher. Jerry? It's wonderful to have you both here while we're honoring your parents. The, commitments, uh, the, the, the Fisher's commitment to Ball State over the years, both their volunteer efforts and their financial support, has been extraordinary and steadfast. John was an important part of the vision for our current university direction in fundraising. His early advice and support gave us confidence to organize and announce the Wings campaign. He was an active member of the campaign cabinet, giving knowledgeable counsel and asking critical questions and personally soliciting potential donors. I can attest to what an excellent job he did on all counts, particularly on soliciting donors because I accompanied him on several of those visits. And in the words of our undergraduate students, he is awesome. <laughs> it seems quite appropriate to place the Fisher name on the Institute for Wellness and the Chair in Exercise Science because for over 25 years, John has been interested in health, physical fitness, rehabilitation, and promoting healthy lifestyles. He played a role in the early development of the Human Performance Laboratory, stimulated interest in the field of cardiac re rehabilitation, and for nine years has been chairman of the board of Ball Memorial Hospital. He also served as a member of the Governor's Commission on Medical Education and is presently a member of the East Central Indiana Committee on Medical Education. It is rumored as well and I have referred to the historian of basketball, Warren Vanderhill, to check out this rumor, but uh, he tells me that uh, not only has John been interested in fitness and wellness, but uh, in high school and college, he was a pretty good basketball player. <clears throat> Even played at Madison Square Garden for the University of Tennessee. Janice's loyalty and support can be traced back to her father, Edmund B. Ball. He was one of the Ball brothers who provided funding to establish Ball State. The Ball family's commitment to this institution has been exemplary. Ever avoiding the limelight, Janice is nevertheless one of the most dedicated and loyal friends that this university has. Together, John and Janice Fisher gave the largest gift ever made to Ball State by individuals. Our gratitude is as enormous as your contribution. And I want you to know, Janice and John, that your early gift to Wings gave us tremendous encouragement. 
And I think I can speak for Steve Anderson, who was national chairperson of the Wings campaign, when I say that your commitment really gave us the confidence that we could make our goal. And of course we did. So from all of us, a very big thank you. Now we've asked some other people to express appreciation as well. Representatives of the Fisher Institute for Wellness and the Human Performance Lab and the Board of Trustees. And in a moment, I will introduce these people and ask each of them to comment briefly. But first, I would like to recognize some special guests who um, I, I believe are here. I haven't had a chance to, to check all of these. But of course, uh, Jim Parks, president of our Board of Trustees, who's going to be speaking later, and uh, Joyce Parks is someplace here, and Lavera Hughes, uh, Chad Davis, member, our student member of the Board of Trustees. Uh, Dr. Schmatlock is director of the Fisher Institute for Wellness, and he has been on our faculty at Ball State for 27 years. He's a professor of physical education and directs the graduate program in wellness management. Also um, speaking is a graduate student in our uh, Fisher Institute for Wellness, uh, Ms. Amy Johnson. Ms. Johnson is a graduate student in the Wellness Management Program and is from Ackley, Iowa. She earned her undergraduate degree from Iowa State. Uh, speaking next will be Dr. David Costell. Dr. Costell is the director of the Human Performance Laboratory and has been up and then I'll ask others to just follow after you speak. Well, it is indeed a pleasure to be here today and to celebrate this event. And speaking on behalf of the Institute for Wellness and the Institute staff, and I'd like to just very briefly introduce those folks, and if you just wait, raise your hand, Dave Gobble, Beth Nielsen, Reuter Kroos, Ruth Warren, Donna Ryder, I Donna Compliment, Debbie Scheller, our graduate students, and then a person many times who perhaps is overlooked, but a person who has been responsible for our continuing evolution as an institute and a program, and a person who is a member or a valuable member of the Ball State Administrative Staff, Associate Provost Tom Kaluzinski. But I really, I, I really wish to thank each of you for coming today to help us to celebrate this uh, dedication of the John and Janice Fisher Institute for Wellness. I guess from my standpoint, it really is only fitting that a family that has been so generous to the university and the community and who has demonstrated such an active interest in enhancing the health and well-being of its citizens through community service, membership of many health-related boards, uh, affiliation with Ball Memorial Hospital, should have its name placed on an entity uh, which has been charged with training wellness managers and gerontologists and facilitating the university-wide goal of creating a wellness environment. Uh, indeed, we do feel privileged to have the Fisher name placed on the Institute. Uh, in many academic circles, of course, names attached to organizations uh, serve to catch people's attention, denote an air of distinction, and for, other th and, and for another variety of other reasons, uh, place it in, in a, a high regard. While this is a great honor, many times, uh, and it, it all should be remembered, that it comes with really a tremendous responsibility. In fact, for when one hears a name such as Kellogg, or Wharton, or Cranet, they signify outstanding programs which produce fine students trained to assume leadership positions in specific fields. Uh, in addition to having an outstanding, what we consider to be the outstanding professional preparation program in the country last year, we're proud of our students and other accomplishments. And we hope as people hear the name, the John and Janice Fisher Institute, alone, they'll be immediately associate that with outstanding wellness management leaders and gerontologists in wellness who've assumed positions in corporations, in education, communities, retirement villages, hospital settings, and private enterprise. John and Janice, your generous support has helped to make this entire health and physical activity complex a reality. Uh, it's really made it possible for Ball State University to further showcase some of its nationally recognized programs. 
and it has provided space for increased health and wellness, promoting opportunities for faculty, staff, and students, and the citizens of Muncie. And it serves as a source of pride for the people who live and reside in this building, as well as all of those folks across campus who come to it on a daily basis. But perhaps more importantly to us, it provides us with a permanent home, which is placed in the hub of the campus. And because of the dedicated space, it truly has, it truly has helped Ball State University become positioned nationally as a university making a commitment to the health and well-being of its constituency. Once again, speaking on behalf of the students, staff, and those who are associated with the Institute, we welcome the challenge that comes with the responsibility of assuming a new name, your name. And we hope and, and we thank you then for the honor of being named the John and Janice Fisher Institute for Wellness. Thank you. I'd like to say that I'm, I'm proud to represent the uh, wellness management and gerontology students today in thanking the priority while we study. Besides establishing an environment that encourages personal well-being, the Fisher Institute provides a place for us to develop interpersonally and professionally. We're able to learn from experts in the field and share ideas with others. We open our minds to different views and beliefs, knowing that we'll have the freedom to form our own opinions. The reason um, the service projects here give us a lot of practical experiences, expert guidance, freedom for creativity, and a serious dedication to encouraging others to pursue well-being combines to make our time here very worthwhile. I'm sure I represent the other wellness management students when I say that our short time here is invaluable. The people we meet, academic and professional experiences we gain, and further sense of well-being that we achieve are deeply valued. On behalf of the wellness management students, I'd like to once again thank John and Janice Fisher for their contribution and let them know that it is appreciated. Because of that, and because of the gifts of the Fishers, it became possible for us to develop, I think, uh, one of the best physical facilities in the area of uh, uh, sports and, and exercise physiology, so that we today have, I think, one of the, one of the best uh, facilities that we could ever hope to have. Uh, but the other thing that always interested me was the fact that Ball State was never considered in 1966 to be a research institution. Uh, and over the years, uh, my colleagues in, at other bigger institutions always challenged me wondering why I was at Ball State University uh, in a rather demeaning way, which really upset me because I felt I could always do more than they could and they were at other institutions of greater research prominence. And the reason why I think that the program here has grown is because of the support of people like the Fishers and others who have helped to uh, make uh, Ball State the kind of institution it is today. There's probably no greater compliment to a faculty member than to be given an endowed chair. I, uh, there are a lot of opportunities and probably a lot of uh, awards I never deserved, but I think the, the highest award I've ever received is the one you get right at home, and that one is uh, to receive this endowed chair. And I certainly have to thank the Fishers for that and thank the administration for leaving me alone for 27 years uh, out in my little building in the back uh, where uh, we really have gained a tremendous support. And I don't think any community or any group of people could have supported us uh, any better than we've been able to be supported here in Muncie and at Ball State. And I thank you very much. Yet it will be perpetual, a perpetual reminder of the appreciation that we feel, feel for this couple 
and what they have done for Ball State University and higher education. President Worthen and uh, John and Janice, if you would come forward, please. <clears throat> I'm going to make the announcement, John. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, I declare that Ball State University establish a professorship in the, to be named the John and Janice Fisher Chair in Exercise Science, and that the Institute for Wellness at Ball State University now be officially known as the John and Janice Fisher Institute for Wellness. And if I may come over here, we'll have a uh, completion of the dedication. Thank you, John, and Neil, and Amy, and David, and, and uh, Jim, for these uh, remarks you've made this afternoon regarding the program and our part in it. You know, um, it's great to be honored, I think, and associated with uh, perhaps the best known international program in uh, wellness and in exercise science that has been uh, the result of those 27 years of beginning in the closet. I remember it was, uh, he says it was a room. It wasn't very big in the beginning, but uh, you can see what's taken place over these years with the dedication and the expertise that David and his associates have brought to this institution. All of you are quite aware that there are a number of graduate students here from all over the, uh, the uh, globe, so to speak. Well, my interest in wellness, uh, I think, begins with the fact that my parents were, uh, were interested in our well-being, taught us good habits, and uh, those good habits, I hope, have uh, been passed on to my children, two of which have honored us with being here this afternoon. By participating in sports, I think we all gain a great insight into how important it is to keep your body and your mind in uh, good health. And uh, this has been a, something that I pursued as a young man and, and have at least tried to keep in fairly good shape since that time. As an employer, I don't think uh, any of us can uh, deny the fact that a good, healthy workforce, particularly in, in a manufacturing organization where you have continuous production, is, is most important. Nothing more frustrating for management to have absenteeism and uh, people who are away because of many other reasons, but many in the because of the, their health habits and their eating habits and perhaps their, their, the way they just simply look at their job. But I think we all know how important that is. Well, I should tell you that my uh, particular interest in, in this, proje this project here you see uh, so uh, surrounding you this afternoon is started back in 1961 or 62 in those days I traveled to Chardon, Ohio a number of times uh, where we had a rubber plant and I had the riding the, the nickel plate in the New York Central in those days while I was reading in the newspaper about Dr. Curitan. Of, uh, that time he was working on a program with, with the Cleveland Clinic to uh, take heart patients and uh, starting them by just simply walking them across the swimming pool. that he finally, after six months, would have them swimming a half mile. 
Well, I thought if someone could take uh, people in that shape and, and do remarkable things with them and bring them back to good health, we ought to learn something from him. So in those days, the YMCA had a very uh, mediocre program in uh, exercise and wellness, and we brought Dr. Curitan to Muncie. I must say, Rosemary, that Alec uh, was very reluctant to give up $450 from the foundation to pay his, <laughs> to pay his way over here, but that was, a, that was the best investment I, I think we ever made. <clears throat> but anyway, Dr. Curitan came here, and uh, we got Morton Fulmer at the YMCA interested in what he was doing. And with uh, the help of uh, Walt Cameron, Dr. Walt Cameron, Dr. Harold Nelson, Dr. Jack Moore, they uh, helped us uh, with Dr. Curitan find out uh, how fit those of us who entered this program at the Y were going to be by simply running up and down three steps that we had, and then they'd take our blood pressure and our temperature and so forth. Well, that was the beginning of the program there, and it wasn't long after that that those three doctors were working with David and his colleagues out here in that program. And I remember, if you look in this program, you'll see someone hooked up to a lot of pipes and uh, and riding a bike, I remember coming out here 20, about 26 years ago, and uh, I went through that program of uh, being evaluated. And, uh, you know, last spring I came back out here and was evaluated again. And it was interesting to me to see that there were eight graduate students who participated in this evaluation. And every one of them, I questioned them. I said, how'd you have to come to Ball State for your graduate work? We came here because it was the very best program in the world that we knew of. And they all were very enthusiastic. I counted out of those eight students, there were six that were from out of state. And one of them was from another land. So you do have assembled here a tremendous program for which we all are very proud. And I, uh, <clears throat> I'd, I'd simply like to add that we, we do know if you read the newspapers, at least the, the hospital has a wellness program. It's open to all types of, of programs that are available for people who can uh, take advantage of these programs, everything from aerobic dancing to riding a bike or something, as we have right here in this uh, marvelous uh, facility. But most important, it seems to me, that all this conversation that we hear from Hillary and Bill Clinton about wellness and health and these programs, it seems to me like the most important thing is, is individual responsibility for one's health. And I think so much of the problems we have today are simply abandonment of these individual responsibilities for taking care of oneself. I'd also like to add a thought here that perhaps uh, many of you know that the five enterprising brothers that started this ball corporation were, uh, they were energetic too and very, uh, most of them were exceedingly good health and, and uh, lived good long lives. But the uh, success of that organization has provided for this institution, Ball State and several other institutions around the community, a tremendous amount of financial support. And I uh, just like to add that uh, to me that healthy enterprises bring about great educational institutions. Thank you, John. Thank you for those remarks, John. Uh, we are very proud of the Institute for Wellness and uh, the Human Performance Laboratory. And now 
that the chair which David Costell holds and the Institute for Wellness will be named the Fisher Institute and the Fisher Chair, uh, it will make us even more proud. There were a number of people who uh, helped uh, pull the logistics for this afternoon's uh, naming ceremony uh, to uh, put on this program. I want to, I want to uh, thank our uh, string quartet um, and certainly uh, invite you to have refreshments and to visit the John and Janice Fisher Institute for Wellness and the Human Performance Laboratory. The Institute is on this floor. The Human Performance Lab is just below it on the first floor. Students and Cardinal Corps personnel will be pleased to direct you. Thank you all for sharing this very special occasion.